Hi all, thanks for tuning in. My name is Bram Vaas. I'm a PhD candidate from Utrecht University, working with professors Dao van Hinsberg and Kolangerijs. And in this short introduction video, I would introduce some of our work on apparent polar wonder paths. Apparent polar wonder paths, or APWPs, are commonly used in the Earth sciences to reconstruct the past location of continents relative to the Earth's spin axis. They also provide the reference against which we compare independent poles to assess relative latitudinal motions or rotations. APWPs are typically calculated by averaging a set of study poles that fall within a certain time window. And in absence of unrecognized errors, we would expect a tight clustering of these study poles around the mean pole. But in reality, we observe a large dispersion of study poles around the mean pole. For example, in the global ABWP of Torsvik and others, we observe an average angular distance of about 8 degrees relative to the mean pole. Importantly, some of these study poles are at such a large distance from the mean pole that they are in fact statistically distinct from the mean pole, as is the case for the examples highlighted in this figure. In a recent paper by Dave Rowley, it was shown that about 50% of the study poles used in the recent global APWP are statistically distinct using the traditional combined uncertainty metric, shown in the bottom right corner here. If the poles used for the global APWP are itself statistically distinct from the pole path, this would of course have strong implications for the tectonic applications of paleomagnetism, like discerning tectonic rotations. We have analyzed some of the potential causes of this problem, and we find that poles that are significantly displaced often do not adequately record and average out paleocycular variation or are derived from classic sedimentary rocks. As you can see in these figures, sediment-based poles are much more dispersed compared to poles derived from igneous rocks. However, we identify as a key problem that there is no clear definition of a study pole. By analyzing the poles of the last 110 million years, we find that the number of independent measurements of the field is highly variable. For example, five poles from plutonic complexes of slightly different age all contribute to the mean pole, and these poles are just based on 5 to 12 sites. On the other hand, a pole is included that is based on 126 lava sites from Mongolia. Now, if we were to average these five poles from the McEnroe 1996 study, this would already displace the mean pole by almost 2 degrees. This shows that the number of poles used to calculate the mean pole and its uncertainty is often arbitrary. For this reason, we are currently working on a new approach to calculating APWPs, using the individual measurements of the geomagnetic field rather than study poles. This allows us to give more weight to larger data sets and to take into account uncertainties in both H and the data itself. In order to compute a unique APWP, Thanks for listening. If you want to know more, please have a look at our poster or join the discussion via the Zoom channel.